And Matthew, you had been uh, asking, I think, a uh, number of times about NGO uh, regulations in ECOSOC. And I just want to state for the record that the procedure for withdrawal of consultative status as per paragraph 56 of ECOSOC Resolution 1996-31 is the following. A member state has to make a complaint against an organization at the NGO committee. Uh, while it does not need to be a member of the committee or, or a member of ECOSOC, through a letter addressed to the chair of the NGO committee, the NGO committee reviews the complaint and the NGO concerned is informed of the complaint in writing and is asked to present its response for consideration by NGO members. Uh, in plain English, uh, that means uh, that um, it is member states that decide who uh, gets accredited to the NGO committee. It is member states who decide who does not get accredited uh, to the NGO committee and the president of the ECOSOC is not involved in any steps of this procedure. Thank you. Uh, Brendan, all yours. Any questions? Yes, Matthew. And I'm, I'm, I, it's, I'm sorry to have to ask you this. I, I was going to ask either you or Stefan, but given Stefan's abrupt departure, I'm going to ask you. And it has to do with the, the response that he read, which is identical in part to one that I received from the Czech mission yesterday evening about the role, how a, a, an NGO, even if it's named in a court case for having bribed a PGA, could remain in ECOSOC. And he seemed to say that the president of, 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 of ECOSOC has no, has no role, cannot do it. And obviously, as a member state, she's also the ambassador of a member state. I guess I just want to, want to do you agree with what that was said? Can any member state do it? Is a member state that's serving as president of ECOSOC have no role in ensuring that ECOSOC is not continuing to be consulted by a group that's been alleged in court to be bribing the PGA? It's not really for me to, to talk about uh, rules that have to do with the Economic and Social Council. I, I speak for the President of the General Assembly, so it's out of my, out of my purview. I, do you, I mean, but it was, okay, it was read by, does the Secretariat speak for them more than you do? I don't speak for what the Secretariat speaks okay. about or what they don't speak about. It's a question for Stefan. I mean, from my point sure. of view, I, I can't really speak about, about the Economic and Social Council. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. Any other questions? Thank you very much.